Is he bad, bad, Leroy Brown? The baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Hey! One of my favorite songwriters of all time, and probably one of my biggest inspirations as a songwriter, is a guy named Jim Croce. If you haven't heard of Jim Croce, you might want to look him up because he's written some of the most beautiful songs that I've ever heard, including this one that we're going to do today, which is Bad Bad Leroy Brown, a tribute to my hometown of Chicago, Illinois. So today we're going to take a look at the chords, the strumming pattern, and then do a little short play along towards the end of the video. There will be a full play along for this song. I'll leave a link in the description for that. That'll be coming out in a few days. But without further ado, let's check out Bad Bad Leroy Brown. All right, let's take a look at the strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern, I'll start here with a G chord, is just going to be very simple, but there's going to be a little nuance to it that makes it really cool. The strumming pattern is down, up, down, up. Now you noticed I said that second down a little bit more emphasis. So we're going to accent that second down strum. So if you've heard this recording, it's done with a piano. And when they do that, you hear bump, ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum bump. So to get that kind of uh, in the uke world, we're just going to use an accented strum to make that happen. So it'll sound like this. Down, up, 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 down, up. So let's try that nice and slow here on a G chord. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So a little more weight in your finger. Down, up, 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 down, up. So if you need to practice that a little bit, go for it. Pause the video. If you're ready to move ahead, let's take a look at the chords. So the chord progression is pretty cool for this song. It's amazing that only using a few chords, they wrote this great of a song. Makes me feel like why do I try to use so many chords when I write songs? So the first chord, as we just started here, is just a G major chord. The second chord we'll use, and I'm going to go in order that we're going to use them in the song, is A7, and that's just single finger here with the index C string on the first fret. B7, you love it, I love it. I'm going to show you how to play a couple different versions of this. So. First time through the chords, I'll show you the bar chords, and then I'll show you an easier way to play it for those of you who are anti-bar chordists. B7 here, barring the second fret, middle finger on the third fret on the C string, and then watch this. We're gonna play a C7 next. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this shape, I'm gonna slide it up to the third fret. Now I'm playing C7, you see that, B7. Moved up a half step or one fret. I'm playing C7. And then the last chord is D7. Couple options for that, but we're just gonna keep walking with this bar chord here. Up two more frets to the fifth fret. And now we're playing the D7 chord up here. So if you watch that, I went B7, C7, D7. And the reason I'm going up like that is because in the song that's what it sounds like the movement that's happening it feels like it's gradually lifting so rather than going down with my chords i'm kind of going up the neck to keep that lift movement happening there so those are the only chords that you'll need for the entire song the verse and the chorus have the exact same chord progression and number of times so you're in luck today because this one's a little bit easier the other versions of the chords that don't require bars. So let me go back here to the B7 chord. So if you don't want to do this bar chord version here, you have the option of doing this, what looks like an E minor shape, but played on the top three strings. So you would play ring, middle, and index on the fourth, third, and second for your B7. So that's an option if you're not feeling it with the bar chord. It looks very similar, but I'm just doing this. For my C7, you can go back to the one finger C7, which is down here on the first fret on the A string. And for the D7, you have a couple different options. If you want to do the non-bar chord version, 
you can just use your middle and ring finger here on the G and E string on the second fret. So if you're anti-bar chord, you have options. If you want to push yourself a little bit, maybe start trying to, you know, kind of add some bar chords into your regiment. This is a great song to kind of do that with. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of the tune here, starting with the intro. So the intro is pretty cut and dry. We'll just do the G chord eight times. So one time equals down, up, down, up. So as you're kind of following along today, know that one time equals down, up, down, up. So we'll go through the intro eight times. It's a good chance to kind of get warmed up with the strumming pattern here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you know what's going to happen next. We do it four more times. So after the intro, we get into the verse. The cool thing is the verse and the chorus are identical in this song. Amazing, I know. So starting off with a G chord, and we'll do that four times through the strumming pattern. The second chord we move to is A7. So watch this little movement here. I'm just going to slide my index finger from the second fret back to the first fret. Nice easy change. From there, I'm going to do the bar chords. If you don't want to do them, that's up to you. Going to the B7. The next chord is C7. Then we move up to the D7. And then we end it with G. So let's play through that together. Follow along on the bottom of the screen for how many times to play each one of these. And I'll just kind of talk us through it. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A7. One, two, three, four. B7. C7. D7. G. And then you go back and you turn that around and do it again. So because the verse and the chorus are exactly the same, I'm not going to go through and teach you the entire chorus because I just taught it to you. So what we'll do is just kind of do a little more extended version of that just so you guys have another repetition to play through that progression and get comfortable. Maybe you're trying to decide whether you want to play the bar chords or not. I know it's an inner conflict. I'm having one myself. But let's just play through that a little bit faster just to kind of feel that chord progression out. One, two, three, four. D7, G, again, G, 3, 4, A7, 2, 3, 4, B7, C7, D7, G. All right. So the only other little nuance of this song that I need to mention is the very end of the song. So for the end of the song, all you do to change it up a little bit here is you're going to go through, just like you would, through the chorus, play the exact same chord progression. The only additional thing is, is you do what they call a tag ending. So let me just demonstrate that for you quick so you know what I'm talking about here. So I'll sing the last chorus. I'll show you how to do it. So it's... Cause he bad. Bad Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole damn town, badder than old King Kong, meaner than a junkyard dog. Here's the tag, badder than old King Kong, meaner than a junkyard dog. So all I did is I played through the chord progression for the chorus, and then I went back to the B7. I played that two times, the C7 two times, the D7 two times, and then I ended it with the G. Kind of just doing a quick muted strum, 
So I'm just touching the strings there, and then I ended it with an up strum. So I went. So if you want to do that as the ending, it's a pretty cool way to end it. That's kind of how they do it in the song. So let's take a look at the full song here. We're just going to do a consolidated version, and then we're going to do a full play along in another video. So we'll do a couple verses, the chorus, and then we'll do the ending. So get tuned up and let's get to it. All right, so we're just going to play the chords here with no lyrics, a little slower version of this play along so you can get used to it. Are you still trying to choose between bar chords and first position chords? I don't know, maybe you are. Here we go. Nice and slow. We'll do the verse, the chorus, and I'll start this off by starting on the G chord four times to kind of simulate the intro. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Verse one, two. Seven, two, three, four, B seven, C seven, D seven, G. Verse two, one, two, three, four. I think a bird just died. Two, three. I'm not thinking about that bird. Four, go to the B7. One, two, C, two, D7, to the G. Now the tag ending right back to the B7. One, two, C, two, D7, two, G. All right. So now let's add the lyrics to it. I'll go a little bit closer to the tempo. I will leave the tempo on the song sheet that I put at allforyuke.com. If you want to check that out, there'll be a PDF with the lyrics, chords overlaid, and all that good stuff for you as well. And I will leave the metronome marking so you can kind of work your way up to the song tempo as you practice this. So let's do this consolidated with the lyrics. You can kind of feel more of what this is like. Here we go, starting with the intro. Hopefully a bird does not die during this take. One, two, three, intro. One, two, three, four. Well, the south side of Chicago is the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just beware of a man named Leroy Brown. Now Leroy, more than trouble. You see, stand about six foot four. All the downtown ladies call him treetop lover. All the men just call him sir to the chorus. Cause he bad, bad, Leroy Brown. The baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. And let's tag it. Badder than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Well, that was a lot of fun teaching you guys Bad Bad Leroy Brown. I hope you had some fun with it. I hope these uh, feel good songs are lifting your spirits here in 2020. I know it's a challenging time for some of us, spending more time by ourselves. And playing uke is a great way to get through that, so I'm glad we're doing that together. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have an entire song library. Also a lot of play-alongs, as well as a bunch of different series if you're looking to learn more about uke in general. I have a website called allforuke.com. You can check it out where I have song sheets. Again, a full PDF library of tons of different songs. You're welcome to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click that little alert bell so you know when the next video is coming out. My name's Kevin. I hope to see you guys again next time. Signing off. This sunny day.